Hey, this is Andrew Brown. We're taking a look at AWS Data Wrangler Library. So first of all, what is AWS Data Wrangler? It is an open source library by AWS that extends the Pandas library to AWS connecting Pandas data frames to AWS related data services. It offers abstracted functions to execute usual ETL tasks like load, unload data from data lakes, data warehouses, databases. Here's an example of us using Data Wrangler uh, library here, and we're establishing a connection here, it looks like to a glue connection with utilizing Postgres. So easy integration with uh, the following services, Athena, Glue, Redshift, TimeStream, QuickSight, Time, CloudWatch, Logs, DynamoDB, EMR, Secret Manager, PostSQL, MySQL, SQL uh, Server via the Glue Catalog Data Connection, and it can handle S3 files. Um, so let's now talk about SageMaker Data Wrangler. This is a feature that simplifies the process of data preparation feature engineering. It contains over 300 built-in data transformations. So you can quickly normalize, transform, combine features without having to write any code. According to the Data Science 2020 survey, preparing data ML models takes up to 66% up to of the data scientist's time. So that requires a lot of your work. Now I wanna point out that there is the old SageMaker data uh, Wrangler as a service, not the library, but the service, and there's Sage, and there's the new one. So there's the old one in SageMaker Studio Classic, which I absolutely love, very easy to use. And then there's SageMaker Data uh, Wrangler, which is in SageMaker Canvas, which I absolutely hate. I cannot make sense of it. It's not the same experience. But SageMaker Data Wrangler, it, again, is a feature that simplifies the data processing. And uh, this is kind of a repeated slide, but we're talking about some other points here, like data flow. So you first create a data flow, and then it would connect to other services, just like the AWS Data Regular Library. This is showing in Studio Classic, because again, I do not like the new one, but you'd create a flow, you'd set it up, you'd be able to easily import, choose options, you'd have to run it on an instance, uh, and just remember to turn it off. And so here, you know, maybe it would take $22.12 to run it all day. What I noticed with SageMaker um, Data Wrangler within um, Canvas is you're paying for that workspace. So in, uh, in theory, well, no, actually the cost here is still cheaper because Data Wrangler here in Studio Classic, we can run it for less than a dollar, but you have to run the workspace instance at at least a dollar and nine cents. So again, I don't, I don't like the new one. Uh, I can't figure out where all the, the built-in data transformations are in the new one, but I want you to know that SageMaker Data Wrangler in Studio Classic is still really great um, and you can utilize it here. Uh, it's a shame I didn't take a screenshot of any of the visualizations because when you see the flow, the that kind of looks cool there, but we're not gonna be spending too much time, at least in this, um, depending on what course you're doing, but at least if you're doing the AI partitioner, we're not doing much of the data wrangler. We may do more of it. I might have follow-alongs if, if, if you are c c currently consuming the machine learning associate, okay?